What is going on YouTube? Welcome in, I am Lubo ATM and welcome into another three minute discussion. This is where we look at changes and anything to do with Dead by Daylight and we have a brief discussion of what's changing or what's going on and then have a, a an even briefer discussion on if it's good or bad for the game as a whole. So this week we're going to be looking at the changes coming to the struggle state um, that's coming out in the next PTB that was announced on Twitter um, on Tuesday. Um, so just before we get jumped into that, I just want to take, take a quick moment to thank everyone for all their support who's liked the videos and subscribed to the channel. It really does mean a lot uh, as a new kind of content creator on YouTube. It really helps me out with the algorithms and get me up the directory and get, get my content kind of visible to others. So honestly, it means so much and I just wanted to take a quick second to say thank you. Um, but now that's covered, we'll jump into the discussion for this week. Right guys, let's get into it. So changes to the struggle state. So as of the next PTB, the struggle state's button mashing mechanic is going to be replaced with a skill check based mechanic. Uh, the reason for this change is for their ongoing work into the game's accessibility. Um, it's also to it's basically to help people who, who find it difficult to do the button mashing either on controller or on keyboard and replace it with the, the skill check based mechanic that is present throughout the rest of the game. Um, through like that's how you do generators, etc, all that sort of thing. From the video they released on Twitter, it looks as if it's going to be similar to the kind of skill checks you get while you're in um, Pyramid Head's uh, Cage of Atonement. So that's good, it's not going to be completely changing to anyone. And I believe watching a few content creators um, over the last uh, the last couple of days, I think they've mentioned as well that the, the skill check success zones may get smaller the longer you're on the hook, which would be a cool change, but I don't think that's been officially confirmed by Dead by Daylight. So. Let's look at this now in terms of is, is it a good change or a bad change for the state of the game and I think this is the first time in these three minute discussions where I can unanimously say I think it's an overwhelmingly good change for the game. It's good that the behaviour are continuing to do these accessibility changes and making their game more accessible to everyone. Um, as I said I think it's going to help people who have got real problems with their like arthritis in their hands or, or any other sort of medical condition that makes button mashing more difficult for them. I think that's, a, that's an excellent change for it. Um, the other two ways I think it's really going to benefit the game is I think that a lot of the times that people, I've done it myself, I think I did it on stream the other day, is that I was doing something else, like I was checking the volume or something and I didn't start tapping soon enough and it meant that I triggered straight into the, the sacrifice state and the, I know there's been plenty of games where people have like, their hands went into cramp or their fingers slipped and they've like, they've ended up getting sacrificed um, by accident so that, this this mechanic should obviously take that, that issue away. Um, and I, I think as well another one and probably the biggest one for me is this should probably stop people killing themselves immediately on hook which is as a survivor the most frustrating thing to deal with you've just logged into a game someone's been downed quickly you're still at five gens and they just immediately kill themselves on hook because they're like yeah i'm not dealing with this it just it completely puts your team on the back foot and i'm not saying people who then get rescued aren't immediately just going to go and go and run directly at the killer but it at least buys other people time to like kind of get generators done or, or, or something in the match. You know what I mean? It doesn't just completely sell your teammates up the river. So I think that doing this and the fact that you're going to be guaranteed to be on the hook for a for an X amount of time, uh, allowing people to come and get saved before you do that, I think is a really good thing. And I think hopefully taking that away should make things a lot more healthy. Between that and the disconnection penalties, I think it should really deter people from just dropping out of games, which I think can only really be a good thing. Hey guys, so that's another three minute discussion in yeah. the bag. Uh, so yeah, I hope you're looking forward to this change coming in in the next PTB as much as I am. Um, I am, as I said, on Lubo ATM. I will be releasing videos uh, minimum two to three a week at the moment. Um, so please like and share this video, subscribe to the channel. Um, it really, as I said at the top of the video, it really helps with the algorithms. Um, I stream also a couple of times a week over on twitch.tv forward slash ATM. so please come over and join me over there. Uh, we'd love to chat to you guys over there. Um, and until I see you next time, peace out.